That's Japanese, right? Yes. Welcome back. Watching another one. I'm actually doing this. Look, it's not even been a full week. I'm already having another. Whoa! I want to read that. You're welcome, the internet. So, for this week, what I thought we would do is we could focus on some spooky October books just in time for November. Over the weekend, I finished a book that I have to say definitively. I'm saying it right now. You can't see my foot, but it's coming down. It's coming down. It's coming down. You ready? Favorite book of all time. And that's A Monster Calls. If you're one of the seven people who have seen me read A Monster Calls on the internet, then you know that I'm a humongous book nerd for Patrick Ness's gorgeously beautiful, hauntingly creepy, incredibly intelligent. No. I'm not gonna lie. And this is not something that I share with everyone, so I'm gonna share it with everyone. I cried like a baby at the end. And trust me, you don't wanna see me cry. It's ugly when I cry. Oh, it's bad, it's bad. You ever see those people where when they cry, you're just, you don't even wanna like console them. You're just like, oh, stop. You're embarrassing everyone. Just, oh, and then you kinda of try to look away. It looks something like this. Right? Yeah, you don't, you don't want any part of that. So read A Monster Calls if you have not read it before. You won't find it in a Barnes & Noble. So please, go to your local library, perhaps. Maybe the Library Media Center. Perhaps even in, I don't know, your own middle school that you happen to attend on a daily basis, students. So, find this book relish in the illustrations, get swept up into the story, and try not to be afraid to sleep, because sleeping's important. Get enough sleep so that you can be a good person. Good people sleep, don't forget that. Also highly recommending, if you haven't read it before, what is wrong with you? Who are you? And what rock are you under so that we can find that rock and then pick that rock up and then maybe throw the rock away and help you up gently because it'd be mean to hit you with that rock? you should probably be reading The Graveyard Book by Neil Gaiman. Neil Gaiman, if you're unaware, started as a comic book writer, and then he graduated into writing novels, and he's British, and he's got all types of crazy hair, which is kind of awesome. I wish I had hair like that. I don't. Nothing awesome about this. No. That's why I wear a hat. And he's written a bunch of creepy books, both for grown-ups and for kids. I'm sure you've heard of Coraline. Uh movie version of it? That means you'll like it more, right? Ah! The Graveyard Book has the greatest lead of any story I have ever read ever, and that is not hyperbole. Shameless plug for my hyperbole video. Watch. The lead for this book, I know by heart. You ready? You ready for this? You ready? You ready? There was a hand in the darkness, and it held a knife. I'm aware this isn't a knife. This is a middle school building. I'm sure if they saw me holding a knife, this would be the last of these videos. And you'd be seeing me on the news. So as we find out, there's a terrible man, and he's uh, murdered a family. Except for the baby. The baby escapes. Escapes to a graveyard where he's raised by ghosts. It's kind of like the Jungle Book, except it's the Graveyard Book. If you feel like you need a little bit of a challenge, and you are up to the task, and you love spooky stories with a lot of really great detail and a lot of suspense, I highly recommend it. You will love it. Wasco guarantee. You hear that? You know what that means. Dance party! Turn down for what? Last book that I can highly recommend. I haven't finished it yet. I was in the bookstore, the used bookstore, awesomely used books. Why don't people read used books? It's the same book. What, because someone else touched it? Oh, my book needs to be brand new. Can't have smudges on it. Oh no, is that a fingerprint? Did someone underline a word? No thanks. That's ridiculous. Books are amazing, even if they're used. So I'm in the used bookstore and I see a book that has possibly the worst title of all time. Now I don't know what made me grab this book and want to read it, because like I said, worst title of all time. You ready for this one? Constable and Toop. Which is, which is poot backwards. <laughs> poot. 
So I'm looking at this book, and as you know, I'm, I totally judge books by their covers, paying attention. And uh, I flipped it open, and the first page was way too amazing to not want to read the rest of it. Here's the very first sentence. You ready for this read? In her last few moments of life, as the blood gushed from the knife wound in her neck, Emily Wilkins found herself drifting to her mother's death. <laughs> blood! Gross! It's just too bad that it has such a goofy title. That tells you it has to be a great book because who's going to publish a book called Constable and Toop? Gareth P. Jones could have called it anything else. How about, I don't know, Sandwich Monkey, Astro and the Flying Hot Dog, Timmy Eats Some Brains, finally. Hey you, ready yet? Jamantha Goes to Camp, Trapped, the musical, Secretary Brenda, Finally gives the news. Mitch and the overgrown princess. Slamburger, how a hamburger became a basketball superstar. See, any of these would have been a better title than Constable and Poot, or Toop, or whatever he's calling it. But so far, it's a fantastic book. It's creepy, it's october -y. It's about ghosts and what happens after you die, and there's a whole society and then bureaucracy to the afterlife, and. Somebody's threatening all the ghosts in London, and I mean, it's pretty interesting. I'm gonna say though, this right here is my super challenge book of the week. If you feel like you're up to the challenge, I recommend Constable and Toop by Gareth P. Jones. A wonderful read for higher middle school level, and if you are one of those smarty pants overachieving sixth graders, I say go for it. Challenge yourself. Dictionaries are there for a reason. That's all I got. So, as always, get off your computer. Go read a book. Gosh.